One of the key aspects of hitting also or team offense is bunting. And we're going to have Alyssa demonstrate a sacrifice bunt. It's a necessary component of offense. And uh, she's going to show us that she's going to be in uh, her front toe is going to be pointed to the pitcher. She's going to be in an athletic stance. But the key to this is the key is the knee in this. The back knee must go down a little bit. And she must keep her hands at the top of the strike zone in order to have control of the whole strike zone. So she's going to start high and work low in terms of sacrifice. Good job, kiddo. You can turn your bat over if it's that low. Only strikes. Only strikes. One of the other things is when you're working with young bunners and you tell them to butt, they're going to bunt everything. They're not going to care about the strike zone. So make sure that the, you remind them to only bunt the strikes. Hands high. There you go. Hands up. Hands up. There you go. Hands up. Work down. There you go. Hands high. Work down. Good. a girl. Good, good job. Now one of the other kinds of bunts that you can use for in the development of your team offense is called a drag bunt. It's usually used from the left side of the plate and it can be used as a sacrifice or it's also used as a base hit. So one of our, we've got one of our players uh, who's gonna demonstrate that and she's gonna come through. She's gonna, it's kind of a deceptive move. So she's gonna come through and try to show that she's swinging. And then as the ball's being released, she's gonna cross over and try to catch it on her way to first. Those are some of the cues there. There you go. Another back control move is the slap. And you can do that in numerous ways. Amber's gonna come in and she's gonna demonstrate a soft slap where the objective is to hit it between the pitcher and the third baseman soft to the shortstop. She's trying to hit an alley right to the shortstop. Good. The key to this is that she waits for the pitcher's release and then she bursts through to time it and get the bat and just keeps her bat flat into the area that she's going. So she actually aims her bat to the area that she's trying to hit to. So those are some ideas about how to incorporate the short game into your practices and help your team fundamentals.